know, restoring homes, restoring, you know, our, our families. Uh, you know, yesterday it was supposed to be a training, but I felt so strong the presence yesterday when, when I was teaching, you know, very strong release, you know, of the anointing of God, you know. Um, can we put our hands together for Shabbat tribe? Awesome presentation. I say awesome presentation. Kuna Haushine, come on, awesome presentation. Hallelujah. Well, um, I'm going to take a work. I'm going to continue. You know, I have this Sunday, next Wednesday, upper Sunday. You know, I've been dealing with, um, you know, power partnership, you know, and um, my position in, in this year's dealing with power partnership is establishing our theological basis as a house and also killing devils. You know, I needed to just kill, you know, um, Doc, you're welcome. You know, you've been busy. You know, wanted to just um, um, kill some certain, you know, mindset, you know. And there are some of you, no matter what I keep saying, you're not hearing because there's a strong wall that has, is blocking your eyes. You're looking at me, you think you're hearing, but you're not hearing, you know. And the stronghold is actually meant to keep you perpetually poor. You know, unless you make up your mind to break it, you know, you just stay in, in the same place. All right. So I'm going to build it, you know, you know, up. Um, even in what I did on Wednesday, I'm going to build it up, you know, killing devils make you become very comfortable in having money. Because there is a reason. You know, you're not like any other person here on earth because you're not from here. You're not a Nigerian. You're a Hevenian. You're sent to Nigeria for an assignment. All right? And your assignment must be bankrolled with money. All right? So, I'm going to um, allow us have an information and understanding. Immediately, you come to church. You start talking about money. You see anger in the faces of people. You're supposed to be talking about salvation. Peace, joy. Are they talking about money in church? Because you are ignorant. And I'm going to bust out ignoranimous in this place. <laughs> I'm out to kill devils. I don't have any apology. When I came into this city from 99, I, we were calling money like crazy. But we know why we're calling the money. We're not like fools that spend it on their own. We use it to enlarge the agenda of our kingdom. All right. So I'm going to start, you know, though I've not given you some of the things I would say initially, no, but we will still, I will start somewhere and then go back to what you have there. You know, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. You are created for greatness. All right. I'm going to start with a scripture. You know, my position here is like a lecturer. I want to argue some certain things. You know, but I lecture with an anointing. <laughs> you know, um, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, there is a release of the mind of God to us. Some of you that are angry when it comes to issue of wealth, you have to tear some certain things in the Bible. You know, I was reading a particular post and I felt to just come in because he was a son. I pastored him in a part of the church we closed in, in Jalingo and I was like, no one that that place couldn't work. You know, and as I said, how can a pastor start saying, you know, that you're supposed to raise Billionaires or millionaires. As if I'm, the pastor is supposed to say, I'm supposed to raise poor people. I have anointing to raise poor people. All of you will run. There is a grace on me to make you poor. Be excited now. So why are you? Be excited. Anything you touch will pafuka. You will become as more poorer than your grandfather. So why you you hypocrites? You have to be careful. 
All right, and if you don't understand certain things, you have to be able to shut your mouth until you get information. When you get information, then you can now weigh in into an issue. All right, so, and you are going to remember the Lord your God. Not Pastor Biasa, not any other pastor. I'm not saying that there are no rogue pastors, that their God is their belly. I'm not saying that there are not. We have. The fact that there is a fake thousand naira note doesn't cancel the presence of a genuine thousand naira note. So the fact that there are fake churches and the devil, anything that can never advance the kingdom, he will make sure they have the resources. And so the fact that you see some of those churches that never even bother about the kingdom having money and then of course making a mess on Everything that Jesus does does not mean that you, you know, it absolves you from a responsibility to be hooked up to a credible ministry and release resources to enlarge the kingdom. We have an assignment. The assignment is to advance the kingdom. So God, not anybody, God himself, I am the one that will give you power. And the reason why I'm going to give you the power is for you to create and get money, wealth. The reason is because I promised you. And the promises that I gave you will only be established with money. If the promise are not established, my integrity is at stake. So it is not on your, for your good to be wealthy. It is for my integrity and my name. I am involved in this. There are promises I gave you. And for the promises to come to pass, money will bring it. I will make your name great. I will bless you so that you be a blessing. You can be a blessing broke. Come and put your hands together. I said, come and put your hands together. When you go to Chiquila, build 120 houses, fully furnished, put people, are you a blessing? When you go to Maduguva, dig borehole, establish a five-star hospital, destroy sickness, are you a blessing or not? When you go to Dumne, all right, don't be... I don't want to use words that are strong. Are you, I say, are you a blessing or not? I say, are you a blessing or not? When you take a trailer, 100 trailer, go to impoverished with, with bags of sand, you're not looking for any appointment. You're not a politician. You're driven by kingdom movement. And silence poverty. Are you a blessing or not? God said that if you go and you have never given water to somebody, you're Bound for hell. Like you can't even run Kogine. So you have to be able to understand some certain things and then become comfortable. I'm not talking about greed. Money is not for covetousness. Money is for covenant. Come and put your hands together. That is why anybody here that all that you are thinking is yourself, your belly, and your family, you're not part of what I'm dealing with. You're not a candidate for wealth. You will perish with your money. I'm talking about citizens, diplomats, and ambassadors. So God came up and said that wealth is okay. Let's show it there. Now, let me ask you a question. Based on this statement of God, does God validate wealth or not? Talk to me. I say, talk to me. I say, talk to me. I say, talk to me, say, talk to me now. Does God okay wealth or not? Okay, what is wealth? Come on, talk to me. When you say somebody is wealthy, don't be religious. So in God, the power 
to make wealth. Mais il a fait Amaka. I'm behind it. I will make sure you have kudi. No, come on, talk to me now. Okay. All right. So God came out and said, money is okay. If God says money is okay, I actually don't care about your opinion. And I'm not talking about there is no abuse in church. There is abuse in church. Pastors have abused this, abused people, collected from people to themselves. But that will not stop. Okay, because there is a reason. Because if you stop, the establishment of the covenant will stop. There is a reason why God is saying that. There is a purpose. God doesn't, okay. So the non establishment of the covenant will go against God. If the covenant is not established, then it is in his interest and for his own dignity to make sure that the promise he gives you becomes established. If not, the integrity of your God is under question. So when God become your God, part of the way to validate his relationship with you is to give you the power to get wealth. For him, for you to know you are in a relationship with him. And I'm going to prove to you and show you something about even the death of Jesus Christ. If you don't know something, all right, you see, I'm, I'm here, I'm arguing in your mind. When I'm arguing, I'm not catch the devils. It is critical for you to get wealth. It is important and foundational to your relationship with your God. So, so somebody will say that, what about salvation of Jesus? What about peace? What about joy of the Lord? What about righteousness? What about being holy? Listen to me. God knows about all of these things. And yet, he did not say, you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he that makes you to have peace. So that we can establish the covenant. For it is he that makes you to have to. I, while all of that peace, joy, holiness, righteousness, it is good, relevant, and vital. But when God came to speak that there is one thing that will establish my covenant, he did not use those things. You think God is stupid and foolish and doesn't understand and doesn't know? You think God be sanctuary, acquire holiness, acquire peace, acquire righteousness, but say the Bible say Magana. Yet say what will establish my relationship and my covenant is you having wealth, and I will give you the power to get it. Is this Bible? While righteousness is good, all of this is important. And he could have chosen all of that. He could have said, remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you peace or joy that he may establish his covenant with you. Why didn't he say that? They have their places. As much as all of those are important, God said, if the covenant is going to be established, the establishment of the covenant is the giving of wealth. Oh no. You I'm, I'm coming against 30 years of information that is on your mind. The devil has done a very, very good work on you. You don't understand. What is so important about God prospering you that is tied to his covenant with you? 
Why should God take wealth and tie it to the covenant he has with you? You have to ask question. The reason is because money is powerful. Listen to me. If you don't know money is powerful, you must be drinking something. Money is powerful. Money is the most powerful source in the natural world. Listen to me. I've seen lives devastated. Homes wrecked. Because of money. I've seen because of lack of it or much of it. I've seen somebody who is from a poor Money. Very powerful. I've seen somebody have money and start talking so cocky. Abusing elders. Being stupid. Because of money. I've seen women losing their virginity. And confuse all their lives. Because of money. I've seen men losing their dignity in front of a small boy because of money. We have a neighbor has three daughters, a pastor. All the daughters married Muslims. Abuse in the house of a pastor because of money. You must be sick to tell me if the money is not powerful. Come on, put your hands together. You better understand some certain things. And have a control of it. I've seen money and lack of it change good people into bad people. Delilah was a perfect girl until money showed up. Come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. Nothing wrong with Delilah. The appearance of money changed who she is. She said, the pseudo life. I pastored a daughter. Pastored her. Kaita Maka. You know her. Met girls. Said, Allah Rabbi Abu the Adin in Telauchi, which is Christianity. Money. Kaiki Dubai. Kaiki Haji. I've seen girls become nonsense because of money. And they could never take the money to the grave. Died useless. I was counseling a lady. She was sick. Laid hands on her. Became well. We pulled her out. Gave her Jesus. Became born again. Came to church. Sick. Hands were laid. She became healed. I know that demons always make a return match. Started mounting pressure on her to stay in church. One day I came, Gawanandabang there. I'm sorry, I'm using that word. Yena bang rolling nata. I've told the Gakawi, Talochi and I saw a cashier. I had dangling Matakudi. Hariabata Salaya. Came into the room, Gasalaya. I said, What is this? And there and then God told me it's not going to end well. Shortly after that sickness returned, she died. I've seen a father lose his dignity because a daughter became so foolish because of money and he is actually following her. Be careful. Money is the most powerful force on the natural. That is why Jesus, when comparing you cannot serve God and money, in other words, this force in the natural realm is powerful as God is in the spiritual realm. It has so much power that it can take your service and your worship. Some of you, you don't even love God. You love money. You're seated. There are some of you, if money, money will make you not to be in, in kingdom briefing. So you have to be very careful when you begin to talk. I've seen apostles turn to become betrayers. 
Apostle Judas. When money arrived, Abu Yachanja, Amba kudi de abama 30 pieces neka wena silver. Money is what, listen to me, secured the betrayal of God, of Jesus. Money kudi. The story of resurrection could have been different. The reason why we are struggling with the story of resurrection is because many stop the truth of the resurrection. The only people, give me, give me Matthew 28. You see, the only people that your story will be valid are eyewitness. Are you hearing what? Hearsay and hearsay is not strong. But eyewitness. Let's say, doctor, you are getting raw, raw, you are getting raw. He can say that I was there. I saw when the ground shook. I saw when the angel rolled the rock. I saw when he sat on it. But while I was down there like a dead log, I saw when this Jesus that you hated, I saw him walk out of the tomb. Immediately that happened, they ran to the priest and they said, not verse 1, give me from verse, you know, from verse 11. And then why are you doing that? On Wednesday, Mununai. While they were going, some guards came into the city. I witness, there's no story that is credible than those that see it. Nagani grow, go. Nagani. Yes, we are cash. Came, met the chief priest. Let me tell you, we were there at around this time. Munji Kasakoena Gagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
as they were instructed, not based on what they saw. Guess what? And this saying, what saying? He did not resurrect. His body was stolen. It's common among the Jews up until this day. Money has the power to derail the resurrection. If money can derail the resurrection, money can bring the force of the resurrection back. I said, come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. When a snake bites you, you use the venom to cure it. If money shot it, money will open it. Come on, put your hands together if you understand. I said, come on, put your hands together. Don't be confused. If money silence the mouth, money can open. You see, a poor person doesn't have a voice. Money gives you voice. Come on, put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about. And I'm not raising religious people. We know the reason for the money. It's not for covetousness. It's for covenant. Our needs are met. We're here to eradicate poverty. Advance the kingdom. Break the back of the devil. Don't be naive. You know the tawali u. The gym I grew up in the Baptist. Greater percentage of my life, all the preaching I received were in house, so I know words. <laughs> if you think money is just a harmless force, you must be smoking something. Common iPhone 6 can lose in virginity. And okay, motor and Kaiki hotels and Dagule the Jikinki. That's a Mickey TV a hostel Nike. That bike you could in the Laki Saka, Wusi and Doki. Can I change and the iPhone 6? From the FE6 and then we are Samsung and Super. I quite touching iPhone 13 to Mujer Letters. Okay, 14. Kagasun Saniba. iPhone 14. For one, we became again at the meeting Kiba because of Kodi. Canada or kind of fushy. Don't you're frustrated back with it. If you think that money is not a force, you must be smoking something. Some of you high blood pressure, yeah, come out cool, don't could That is why God said part of his covenant establishment is he's going to give you the Power to get wealth because money is powerful. Come on, put your hands together. I said, Come on, put your hands together. Can I get a man? Can I get a man? Yes, Christ, God, there's a criterion holiness. Can I come on? Can I fish you? you go? She did a chafer. God thing. Yet a part of because I know what this thing is. Money finances ideas. Money will determine which idea will become popular in the world and which idea will not become popular. It used to be you know that this is a man, this is a woman. Money came and started confusing you. Even preachers. I challenge Jake on his pulpit to make a statement. He couldn't. When a law and legalization of same-sex marriage 
Everybody in the world was looking at him because he's a door. He couldn't open his mouth. I make a statement. Because money made what you think is abominable. Money financed that idea and brought it to the mainstream. All of you, every news that you hear is not the right news. There is another part of it that they are not telling you. They only tell you what you need to hear that will benefit them. Anytime you hear a news, you have to ask, what is it they are not telling? The reason again is that no poor man has the power to own a television station. It's the rich. CNN, NBC, Fox, BBC. And they tell you what they want you to hear for their benefit. That's why you must be stupid to act on the news that you read or see. Because there is something that they are not telling you. Money will create the idea. Poor people will fulfill the idea and agenda. The wealthy will create the agenda. Poor people will make sure that that agenda of the wealthy comes to pass. It is not the merit of the idea itself, but it is the money that is financing it. You hear some songs that have no sense, but is hitting charts. You hear songs that will take a woman and useless her value, speak body parts explicitly, but money finances it. And it's stopping chat. You hear songs that these are God sick. And because they bombard you, you have it in your phones. You don't know when you have it in your phones. You finish speaking in tongues and you start dancing that demonic song again. You don't know. Money finances values. Money finances beliefs. Money. A wrong idea financed with a lot of money can defeat a good idea that is never backed with money. That's why God wants you to get money because his idea is good, but he needs money to force that idea. And you're saying you don't like, you want money. I see sick people who wants to go to heaven. And God is saying that we want to come to earth. You have to press to the high calling. You are never saved to go to heaven. You are saved to colonize people and bring heaven down. All right, I'm dealing with devils. Few days. Because the idea of God is not for you to come to heaven. His idea is for him to come. And you're a kingdom in motion, so he wants you to take over territories. Let me ask you, who discovered River Niger? The Mongo Park. I said, who discovered River Niger? Talk to me. No. Is it Benue or Niger? Who discovered River Niger? Nika Mongo Park na Baki Mutineko Bature. Shinupene. For your information, Kafi Mongo Park is a village people that are there. They know the river, found out about the river, but they are broke. Somebody with money came and met people that had already discovered it. Because he had money, lauded it at paper. Say, Akabashi, title, she had discovered Niva Niger. You knew yourself, or Anche Baturi had discovered Naka. Don't you are a poor wise man? 
Eh? Poor, no, wise. I do consume us, do consume us, Lumi Akogim by Yasuni Suna Hayewa. As villagers as they were, they were wise. Suna the Kenu, Sun Sen Kifa and Chicken Kogim. Miasa Bache, no power discovered River Nijaba. Because if you are a poor man, you will never have a voice. We have great people that can sing. No money. You have weak people that sing. You must be sick. Thinking that money is not powerful. A wrong idea. For a few seasons, wisdom can defeat money. But over a long time, wisdom will be despised. You have people with zeal and energy for a season in two things, but money, but can you know, you know, can defeat money. But over a long time, zeal and enthusiasm becomes tired. I've seen people. Good love story. But would you store this number? Such a meafaru talochi. Because zeal and enthusiasm for a season can defeat money, but by the stamina to hold on. Tai cycle tarate the buhu. Babu abunda that a gyara de shi, kurina wari, bera kotena, anakwana a daiki, blog, ruena zuba, na kumena ura mate chiki. But a guy never call ya ya love in dole ida non to say wake wake up. If I get that idea, money. If money silences resurrection, and God has an idea, and for your information, the church have the superlative and the best idea on earth. The only thing that can finance that idea is money. That's why if the people in church, the devil here deceived us to hate money and become broke. The reason is because they want the idea to stop and never be financed. You think that you are being, you are being holy. You are actually demonic agents. Because you are serving the idea of the devil. Because the idea of the kingdom can only be pressed and be pushed. With money, the only thing that is cheap in the gospel is the message. The vehicle that we carry. This microphone is two thousand dollars. This microphone. The kuna Jim Muri and Ena Zuamuku. The vehicle that can carry and convey the message. The missionaries, the Suna Daji. Naran say Muku, I can make a prostitute never to go to prostitution if I have money. The reason why she has to go to prostitution is because before I met her, there's something that is feeding and supplying her needs. I need to be able to give her Jesus and take care of that which was pulling her back. Get her filled with the Holy Ghost, remove the one too, set her on a trade and push her to begin to become also a citizen colonizing other people. So God said, come on, put your hands together. I'm preaching well. So God said, it's not enough to have people who can say it. He has to make sure the people are fooled to go and say it. That's why it's the theology of this house that you must be wealthy. We're not ashamed about was Abraham wealthy? Was Isaac wealthy? Yes. Was Jacob wealthy? Yes. Was David wealthy? Yes. Was Solomon wealthy? Yes. Are they sons of God? Yes. yes. So Isaac wealthy, Jesus wealthy, Solomon wealthy. Then Jesus Christ came. Listen to me. Jesus Christ was not wealthy. Jesus was poor. So if you don't have reasoning, you have to ask a question, why was he poor? Because if, let's assume, 
this my son, I'm in America. This my son, this my son, this my son. So he left America. I said, come to Nigeria. So he came here. He was a billionaire. This one came. He's a billionaire. This one came. So you'll be thinking, you'll be thinking, ah, to Inyazo. So I now arrived and went the one single room apartment. I was poor. You see, in Harna zone, I'm poor. There has to be a reason and a purpose. The cause of the law is threefold. When man sinned and fell, he died a spiritual death. Sin. The death of a spiritual death brought sickness. But not only did it bring sickness, it also brought poverty. If sin will be delivered and sickness will be handled and poverty to be handled, there is a price tag attached to every one of them. For the sin to be washed, his blood must be shed. When the blood is shed, this guy is righteous and handle the sin problem. For the sickness to be paid, Jesus, so you see, the father must become sin so that the son will be sinless. So when Jesus comes, for the son to be healed, Jesus must become sick. And then his tribe will pay the price for the sickness. So that he can become healed. For the poverty, for the price of the poverty, Jesus must become poor. So that you, through his poverty, will become rich. So his blood paid for sin. His stripe paid for sickness. He became poor. His poverty paid. Okay, now somebody be Give me 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 9. 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 9. For some of you, the back of the Bible, everybody will tell you whatever they want to say. Second Corinthians. Give it to me now, I beg. Eight and one nine. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Is God rich? Talk to me. I say, is God rich? Come on, talk to me. I say, is God rich? God is rich. Oh, Nels, good to see you. God is rich, but. The souls that he created, the fall made them poor. And God said that I want the souls to be rich. And the penalty is this. But for your sake, not for him. Because I want you to be rich. For your sake, he became poor. Why? So that you, through his poverty, you will become rich. Somebody began. You see, Bakuran make a current above her. In Kungani, that could take Taifi, that could touch Kuna Ihu. You see, Nagamaka was Bagania. Because you know, when you're now it's talking about spiritual poverty. You are sick. Jesus was never poor spiritually. A spiritually poor person can never raise the dead. So, because you were taught wrongly, you believe wrongly, you confess wrongly, you have wrong attitude, and it's so in, in your action. The, he's the father of all spirits. Everything spiritual is him. Your spirit richness came from him. He is never poor spiritually. So, he's not talking about spirit. He's talking about physical poverty. But 
Why did he become poor? Whenever you do something intentional, you need to find out why. There is an agenda. And if the agenda must become a reality, he had to pay the price. If you are going to be righteous and holy, the price must be paid. If you are going to be healed, the price must be paid. If you are going to be rich, the price must be paid. Now, question. Why are you taking one of the sacrifices and leaving the other? Because the devil has so much stupefied you. Blinded your eyes. And then why are you fighting? You, you like this one. To be holy, you like this one. Then you hate the money. The reason is because he knows that the power is in the money. I said, come on, clap. I said, clap, 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 clap. Some of you couldn't give my... I said, come on, clap. There is an agenda. The poverty of Jesus was not an example for us to follow. Now listen. Will you say, because Jesus became sick, so you want to follow his example, so you need to become sick? Okay, you see, I'm arguing with your mind. Will you say, because Jesus become, became sin, so you want to follow his example, you have to become sin, sin? Because Jesus became sin, so that you can become righteous. And his righteousness was put on you. But the devil was waylaid because the sin was taken and nailed to the cross. And when he came out from that hell, he was as pure as anything. Why? Because the penalty has been paid. In full. So why don't you say, because Jesus became sick, I want to be like Jesus, I want to become sick. I release all of you to be sick. Why are you saying no? Why don't you follow his example? Okay, so why should you now say, you want to follow the example, Jesus is poor, so you have to be poor. If you can, if you say Jesus, he doesn't have Why don't you say yes, my eyes, he was sick. Why don't you? Come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. You see, you see, don't be a fool. If the money is coming against, it's an agenda from the pit of hell, and the machinations is never done on your level. Is done in high places, spiritual wickedness. You don't know. And then you have people in church. I won't give tight. Because the devil wants to keep you poor. As long as you're poor, the idea will never be, be moved. And the covenant will be void. So if you're not going to follow the example to be a sinner, and you're not going to be, follow the example to be sick, why are you following the example to be poor? Wow. If you have a right to collect salvation and you have a right to collect healing, you also have a right to collect rich. You are a fool if you collect one and leave the other package. You are being waylaid. Because the package is paid in full. Your sin is paid. Your sickness is paid. Your poverty is paid. The blood handle my sin. The stripe handle my, my sickness. His poverty handle my poverty. If I can collect righteousness and collect healing, I must collect wealth. Come on, put your hands together. I say, come and put your hands together. I say, come and put your hands together. I say, come on, put your hands together. You see, you're behaving because you were trained stupidly. And you so much believe satanic verses. Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. For it is written, cause is he that hanged on the cross. Why? So that the blessing of Abraham, the cause of the law is threefold. It's spiritual death, it's sickness, and it's poverty. And all of these three were fully paid. You are abusing his sacrifice. That's why 
the sinner, when you go and tell, tell him, you don't have to go to hell. Why? He's paid. Same thing. So you don't have to be sick. Why? He's paid. The sickness is on him. Once you believe it, you are healed. Same thing. You don't have to be poor. Why? He's paid. Once you believe it, and you believe in it, it's acting based on what he says. Instructions. So they now said, so they become angry if the church be, become rich. Why are they talking about money? Why they, if the church has a right to talk about righteousness and has a right to talk about healing, the church has a right to talk about money. Because when the, when the, when the, when the, when the solution was coming, the solution came in threefold. But like a chicken, they are not going to be able to do it. But they are not going to be able to do it. Dule wa wa ni, may you don't say kaina. Gaule ya kitu. Kura ya leka. Yaga babu dama. Abunda ya kemoja. Kana de idon sakaina. Baka gani de kyo. And you are so with DJ, so zealously fighting. Why are you talking about money? Christians are not supposed to have money. And you are picking wrong information from wrong people. Christians are not supposed to have money. Their money is in heaven. We are not called. We are called to be righteous. We are supposed to preach the gospel and take salvation. How are you going to take salvation? You don't have a right. For this if you're despising this because all of them was the work of the cross <laughs> I'll continue this on my turn so sir so you have people in church you err not knowing the scripture and the power of God because you don't read, you don't have theology, somebody on the internet will not give you and tell you. Or you come to church. Dunia ya bache. Church in Zamani. Seba gana kudi kudi kudi. Yesu Christi. Yazo shitala kane. Bema gana kudi ba. Seba gana Because you don't know. God in the Old Testament, Jesus Christ, I mean, she belay in Wahala. He went through that, don't could he? So that you don't have to be poor. So that you don't have to be a sinner. So that you don't have to be sick. For we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that even though he was rich, yet because of you, he paid the price. So that in your lifetime, you, through the price that he paid, you will become rich. You don't know Bible. And somebody will give it to you. And you become zealous. And rejoicing in poverty. And you think you are being holy. That you are more holy when you are poor. Yes, you are buying a chew on under me in Soshi, the kill. No, God will never use the weapon of the devil to treat his children. Poverty is over the devil. Sickness is of the devil. Sin is of a devil. God will never use the instrument, instrumentality of the devil. God has his instrument. He knows how he's chasing his sons. His sons. If you're a believer and born again, wave your hand. You see, some of you, if you know, you know. I'm not going to even ask you to come. Okay. What made you a believer and born again? A price was paid. Same thing. Everybody that is in this place. So he said, that, hey, listen, you don't have to be a sinner. Why? Price paid. That's why everybody here, none of you is supposed to be sick. Why? price is paid. If you are sick, it's because you have not 
you have not accepted the payment of the sickness. The reason why you are saved is because you accepted the payment of the sin. If you accept the payment of the sickness, you himself took away your infirmities and carried your diseases. That's why you're seen like a lamb, a picture. That okay, a scapegoat. That though, Duke Zunubang, will I use it like a scapegoat? You know, the high priest will come. Because a younger lamb, that okay, Duke Zunubang, come in. That Saka, I can scapegoat. Says that releasing that scapegoat in, into the bush to be devoured by animal. The scapegoat, that okay, Duke Zunubang, camp. That was the same thing. He was like a lamb. And when he was there, all of our sin was put on him. And he was released to Calvary. So he went. But he never knew that that was the joker. Because he carried the sin and then went and nailed it to the cross. Same thing. All the sickness was carried. Same thing. All the poverty was put on him. So he became poor. But he carried and nailed it for your sake. Why? So that if you are a sinner, you become righteous. So that if you're, if you're sick, you become healed. So that if you're poor, you become rich. My time is up. If you go to heaven, the question that he, God will ask the sinner, what did you do with the blood that was shed? That's all. Ah, I didn't believe you go to hell. The only thing about Christians is that you misuse my sacrifice. What did you do? So you come sick. God was sick. But you see, I paid for this sickness. Why didn't you enjoy it on earth? He said, no one said it, because you are here not knowing the scripture. And then Kaji, a farmer, Kabani, Kabani gave him like he yes, a summer kawai. God said that look at you, you are an embarrassment to my sacrifice. And then you affected the movement of my ideas. Because my idea must be pushed with money. That's why I established the, my covenant with you getting wealth. So that we can take the idea and make the earth be covered with the glory of heaven like the waters covers the sea. How many of you are blessed you are in church today? Come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. Have I helped somebody? I said, have I helped somebody? Come on, rejoice. Have I, have I killed some devils? Yeah. You see, we, I'm trying to arrange your theology. Why did he give you money to establish? Because he knows that if he gives you the money, you're going to be sensible enough to carry the money and push house of refuge. Push the kingdom of God. Push. That's why. That's the reason for the wealth. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. I know that some of you, this is the first time you're hearing a teaching like this. So you're confused. But I break the cycle of poverty in your life in the name of Jesus. I demand that understanding comes to you speedily and quickly. I command that the works of your hands prosper. I demand that you be like a tree planted. Your leaves will not wither. And you will produce your seed in due season. In the name of Jesus. I demand money is coming and locating you. Wealth is coming. I release the healing power of God. Every sickness in this place. Go. Himself took away my infirmities and carry my diseases. And I have the authority to break every poverty in this place. I demand witty inventions. Wealth in secret places. I demand your eyes be open in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lift up your hands very well. Lift them up. I release the favor of God over you. I demand that your smell be the smell of a field that is blessed of the Lord. I demand that things that you do begins to escalate and become prominent in life. Thank you, Father. Oh, 
you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich yet he became poor so that you through his poverty will become rich I call you rich I call you healed I call you delivered in the name of Jesus I say I call you rich I call you healed I call you delivered in the name of Jesus I say I call you rich I call you healed I call you delivered in the name of Jesus 